woke up this morning sitting there, you know, after I got my breakfast and everything, I was brushing my teeth. I'm looking at my body, I'm like, man, you're almost there, dude. You have three and a half on each side. You don't have the eight yet, but it's like, God, there's no ice cream November for me. I can't eat ice cream. I eat chocolate chips every night. But how much more is it gonna take, man? I want my eight pack, but you know, it's frustrating. It's like, dude, how much more do I have to sacrifice? I'm gonna have to get up earlier and do more to reach my goals. But what happens when I reach my goals? It took so many plan changes to get to my goals, to reach my goals, and I'm not even there yet. I still gotta change shit to get two halves of an app. It's frustrating. I know. I feel your pain. <laughs> but that's the thing. What am I going to do when I get my eight pack? Does it mean I'm going to lose and throw everything out of the window that I learned? How I've bettered myself? All the shit I've listened to to get there and all the thing inspirations or just the, the people that I've learned from? The ancient warriors, the philosophers, I'm just gonna throw it out of the way and go, oh, now I got my abs, bye. I reached my goal, I've made it. When I get my eight pack, what am I gonna do then? How am I going to maintain that the rest of my life? Because that's what I want. It sounds like I got a lot of fucking work to do. You know, I might be, I can be happy right now, but how many more sacrifices do I need to do to get my goals? I can sit there and cry and go, oh, I ain't got them, and everybody, it's so much easier for them. But I don't say that to myself. I don't ever think it's easier for somebody else. I don't ever wonder, look, it's probably easier for them. No, I think I'm the fucking best. I'm the one that sets the example. Do you set the example in your family? Or do you sit there and piss and moan for everybody and go, well, oh, you know, back in the day I was really great, but you know, you know, I want to do those things, but I just don't have time. Hey, look what you're showing your kid. Look what you're showing your family. Look what you're showing your wife. That you give up. That, yeah, I do want that for you, baby, but, uh, you know. <laughs> I, I I got too much shit going on. All this football to watch. I got I to gotta watch the football show at this time, and then I got to hear the statistics. I got to, you know, I got to talk to Ted about fantasy. And then I got to, yeah, fucking schmucks. That's a thing. I, I like to talk about shit, too. But the shit I talk about, I go do. I don't like to talk about shit that I'm not going to do. You know what I'm never going to fucking do? Underwater basket weaving. Never going to fucking do it. I don't got to wake up in the morning and go, you know what, God. I really feel bad. You know, I just, I'm never going to underwater basket weave. I'm never going to do it. And you can think, Mike Wessel, you're fucking crazy, which I hope you do. You can sit there and think, Mike Wesley, you're fucking crazy. You gotta look back. There's a cop. Might be getting arrested. But, uh, you know, yeah, I'm fucking crazy. That still don't make away from the point of, you know what? If your goal is to underwater basket weave and you get up every morning pissing and moaning about not underwater basket weaving, go find a fucking pool and underwater basket weave or way to happen. Find a buddy that's got a pool. Check. Do you have wicker or how? How do you make a basket? Do you know that? Learn the fucking skills to become the bestest underwater basket weaver you can. Or show everybody else and tell everybody else how you did, you would if you had more fucking time. Loser. Jesus fucking Christ. Gotta hear about your fucking unaccomplishments all goddamn day? 
what the fuck you're taking my time or if you're telling me about how you can't do shit I got time for that man watch I'm gonna go do my shit cause I broke the fucking camera <laughs> good thing I'm home